this is, this is called Ghost Island. So all these people we see are who are the ghosts here in Copeland. Well, there's yeah. one that is on a bridge. Looks like she's looks like she's praying unto God. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's Pilgrim's Rest Church up there. I think that's Whitesville. That's the White Bridge. She's the bride. Pilgrim's Rest Church. Yeah. Wow. It's pretty awesome. I think that's the, we'll talk, we'll talk about it. All right, we're back here looking for a church on this road, so. White's Bridge Road. Yes, we're gonna tell a ghost story. We're gonna get to the church first. Right now, we see our bells of hate. Okie doke. We are at Pilgrim's Rest Church. This church was established in 1800. We have a ghost story to tell. This is the story of the ghost White's Bridge Road, and there's the road. And there's a creek right around that bend, just right around that bend right there, there's a creek. And that's White's Bridge over there. And the story goes, this young woman and her fiance, they come from families that were feuding, like the Hatfields and McCoys or the Montagues and the Capulets. And they decided they would, they were been in love all their life, and they decided they would run away and get married. So they get in the car, she climbs out the window, goes down the ladder, and they get in the car. And this is back in the time when the roads were still horse and buggy roads, even though they had progressed to where they had cars to use. And after they had crossed the county line, the car broke down. They pushed the car into this churchyard. And he, the, the fiance, he decided he would go to get help so he tells his bride-to-be to stay in the car well she's sitting in the car and there's a storm the storm comes up and there's thunder and lightning the rain's hitting the top of the car and she keeps hearing something brush against the car and she thinks it's a tree limb well it when the storm kind of lets up a little bit and she feels like she can make it she runs to this church building because the church buildings were open then she goes inside and she starts a fire because they left churches where people who were traveling could stop she starts a fire and then she practices her wedding march up and down the aisle. And she's waiting for her fiance to come back. Well, the next morning, she falls asleep. She rolls out the mat, she lays down, she falls asleep. The next morning she gets up, waiting on her fiance to come back. She goes and she opens the front door and she looks out and the tree they had parked the car under, his body was hanging. And what she had thought was a tree branch was actually his feet scraping the top of the car. So she runs away screaming, runs right down the road to the creek and jumps in the water. And she drowns, they find her body days later where she has drowned, she's floated down river. Okay, let's go see the tree. The ghost story tells us that if you come at night and you're you're on the bridge, you will see her body floating in the water. And the water, it looked deep enough to drown in. You know what? That one right there could possibly be it. That'd be a good limb. I can say. Anyway, poor woman's in the car. And it was her family who killed her fiance. But Okay, this is Spring Creek. We're coming up on Spring Creek. But we still ain't, I can't see the creek. We're out on this bridge. Now, and this is Spring Creek. Golly, that's spooky looking over there, y'all. Look at that tree. I see. Can we get the other side too? I do kind of want to. Cause we I don't think it's a highly traveled road. But no, but somebody's coming right now. Be aware. And I'm going back across before they come. Could be the tree. That tree's, yeah. 
pit. Tammy talked about this could be the tree right here. 